Uh, but she agreed to marry me. We had a lovely wedding day. People always say to you, oh, wedding day is one of the best days of your life. And you'll know if you're planning a wedding, it really is. Uh, and a reason the wedding day is one of the best days of your life is for me, that's the day that as a couple, you really stop planning a wedding. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of admin, but that pushed me to the very brink, it really did. <laughs> I didn't know you had to plan everything. Why would I pick the flowers? I don't know about flowers, and I'll let you know a secret, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care if my wife says to me, do you remember Mark and Becky's wedding? I don't say, remember it, those chrysanthemum. <laughs> I'll say what I remember about every wedding I've ever been to, what time the bar opened and how much a pint was. That is... <laughs> Wedding's a party, isn't it? Get everyone you love in a room and get them drunk. It's that simple, you know. Who are these people keeping the bar shut till after dinner? Are you worried people are going to have fun too early? Get the bar open. Oh, don't worry, there's a bottle of each on the table at dinner. Is there? Lovely, nice, warm bottle of white wine between 12 of us. <laughs> that will lube up the chit-chat. Perhaps when you get back from the honeymoon, we'll have a quick chinwag about how interesting you think your friends are. Just get the bar open, I don't understand. There's so much rigmarole around weddings that doesn't need to be there, do you know what I mean? I didn't, want, I didn't want to cut the cake. I don't understand why in the 21st century we're still making a display. I think people have seen cake now. You don't need to call them back in the room. Get in there, they're gonna slice up a fruit loaf. Holy shit! <laughs> don't forget your camera. Oh yeah, better get a picture. No one's gonna believe this. <laughs> and then they slice the cake, live! Just. Slice the cake, hand it out. No one's gonna eat the fucking thing anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> I didn't want any, uh, I didn't want any dancing. I didn't want a first dance. I didn't want a dance floor. I didn't want any of that. I don't like dancing. I think it's for arrogant people who can't communicate verbally. <laughs> think, just stand still and enjoy the music. What's wrong with you people skipping around all over the place? You should be punished. You get put on telly in sequins. It should be masking tape to the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna put an album on now and I want you to try and enjoy that cerebrally with the rest of us skipping around like a prick. They're the same people who sing along to music that's in their headphones. Those arseholes. Just... Oh, sorry, was I too in the vibe? No, you're a prick. <laughs> that's the main problem I'm having with you there. I didn't want any dancing. I don't like it, you know. I'll be honest with you, I can't think of a punishment worse than you getting everybody I love in a room, making them form a circle and making me dance in the middle of it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that any day of my life, let alone the one day I've paid for all of these pricks to have dinner. <laughs> what a curious thank you that is. That was a lovely meal. Now dance for your grandma. <laughs> I'd rather they watch this consummate the wedding. I'm not going to lie to you. I'd have been happier tapping a champagne glass. Do you want to come upstairs? We're going to have the first shag now. <laughs> Everybody up. Come on. Family occasion this. Bring your cameras. Would have been quicker as well, I'll tell you that. <laughs> four minutes, that song was, four minutes. And I had to audition for that in my own house. She never seen me dance, my wife. We don't go dancing, you see, in the same way we don't go pole vaulting of a weekend. <laughs> it's not an activity we share. So she just stopped the telly one afternoon and went, show me your dancing, so I know what we're working with. Middle of the afternoon, no music on. I had to start. <laughs> is, is it this? really staring at me like that. I thought, bloody hell, I'm nailing this. <laughs> she spoke up after a couple of hours. She said, um, she said, what, why are your shoulders like that? I said, I'm not even thinking about my bloody shoulders. I said, why aren't you looking at this? I'm doing all of that, you know. Left foot, bounce. Right foot, bounce. She said, no, you need to move your shoulders as well, John. I said, well, I can do, but something else will stop. <laughs> There's just a limit to how many body parts I can be thinking about at the same time. <laughs> and she said, I know that, John. Um, <laughs> still don't understand that one. <laughs> so the agreement was that we would hold each other and sway like that. That was the agreement. And she whispered into my ear halfway through the dance. She said, and I'll never forget this, stop spinning, you're making me feel sick. <laughs> I'm going too fast, apparently, but that's her fault for not giving me an RPM, you know. <laughs> I need facts and figures. I knew something was wrong when I felt her feet lift off the ground. I thought, a bit too much centrifugal force on this. It's more of a twizzer than a dance, but I was having such fun at that point. 